March. In our other top stories tonight, a financial crisis. That's what Rockford's Park District is facing, and leaders say they have to change their funding model to fix it. Tonight, the Park District's executive director laid out what cuts could come in 2020. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie joined that meeting tonight. He has the details for us tonight. Richard. James, the presentation of the 2020 action plan given by Jay Sandine lasted about two hours. It covered every park and facility in the area. So let's get going here with the Riverview Ice House. The recommendation to the board was to consolidate the two ice facilities, that being Carlson and Riverview Ice House. The operational budget for the two facilities is around $350,000 a year, but repairs cost more than $200,000 a year. With Riverview's older facilities and Carlton's potential for expansion, Sandine says consolidation is the best option. Next up, Elliott Golf Course. The plan presented to the board is to sell Elliott Golf Course next year. That's due to two factors. First is a downward trend in golfing. And while that's happening at all five area golf courses, second, Elliott's location creates more potential for redevelopment. A development there could help the Park District close the gap in its financial picture, which has been an issue for years. Sandine didn't allude to any specifics on what could go into Elliott Golf Course as this is all in the preliminary stages. Then there's Mercy Health Sports Corps 1. Sandine explained it sits on a natural floodplain. Sandine showed a graph to explain just how bad the flooding has been the last 10 years. Because of that, opportunities have been lost to host events with the usefulness of the facility in jeopardy. The recommendation is to eliminate one of the three turf fields and repurpose parts of it for fishing and conservation. Sandine and other board members say these decisions are necessary. For the Park District to be viable, it must reduce its footprint. But it wasn't all bad news. Sandine says the snow park at Alpine Hills is recommended to reopen this upcoming winter. With people wearing hats and gloves, Sandine said it might be the safest place in Rockford in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. This presentation is just a recommendation. That's important. The board did not set a date to vote on, an on the action plan, but tentatively it would be scheduled for the next board meeting, which is in two weeks. And I want to add too, there were more than 190 people on the Zoom call tonight who wanted to share their thoughts on the plan. It's still going on. When I walked away, there were still public comments ongoing. James, back to you. Richard, thank you. One person who shared his opinion Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara, he released a statement prior to tonight's meeting saying in part, quote, I have a number of concerns with the new action plan. Together, we can develop creative options to keep our much needed facilities open and enhance our parks and youth programs at the same time. Mayor McNamara also says he is open to creating a task force to explore 